You know, recently a friend of mine told me that she's gluten intolerant. I wasn't exactly sure what it was, so she told me that she cannot consume anything that is made with wheat, like noodles, bread, pasta, rotis. So uh, she can eat a lot of rice. So today I'm going to show you a dish that I made for her when she came over for lunch, and this is made with rice vermicelli. Today on Spice Box, we're making seven jewel rice noodles. This is made with carrots, cherry tomatoes, red capsicum, French beans, paneer, and baby corn, all tossed in soy sauce and Chezwan paste to make a delectable dish. So let's dive in and see the ingredients that we require. So we'll start with rice noodles, or it's also called rice vermicelli or rice semia. So all you need to do is take about a cup of the noodles and then put it in about two cups of hot water with salt, soak it for about four minutes and then drain it. I have a cup each of red bell pepper, French beans, baby corn, carrots, paneer and cherry tomatoes. I also have two teaspoons of ginger garlic paste, about two teaspoons of green chilies, vinegar, salt and pepper to taste, two teaspoons of soy sauce, about a teaspoon of sesame seeds, two teaspoons of Chezwan paste and two teaspoons of cornstarch. I also have some spring onion for garnish. We'll start by marinating our paneer in some ginger garlic paste, soy sauce, salt and pepper. So take your cube paneer, add a little bit of salt. Now you need to add a lot of pepper because this is what flavors this dish. About two teaspoons of ginger garlic paste. Mix this in really well. And then we add soy sauce. Now we let this marinate for about 15 to 20 minutes and then we'll come back and just pan fry it. So just let this sit, covered with a plate. Our paneer has been marinating for about 20 minutes, so now we're ready to cook this. So take a pan, add a little bit of oil, when it's nice and hot, add a few green chilies. Now you can choose how much you'd like to use. Next go in some sesame seeds. And now we're going to add the paneer. So all we're doing is a quick stir fry just to sear the paneer. So our paneer has been cooking for about a minute. I'm just going to give it a stir. Now you don't need to fry this. If you overcook paneer, it becomes rubbery. So you just want to warm it through with the flavors. So now it's ready, so we're gonna turn it off. We're ready to cook our vegetables. So take the largest kadhai or wok that you have, make sure the heat is high, then add about two teaspoons of oil. And as usual, we'll start with our aromatics, which is the green chilies, ginger garlic paste, a little bit of soy sauce, in goes the baby corn, and the carrots, French beans. Now these take the longest to cook, so we're going to nicely let them cook for about three to five minutes on a high heat. Now if you have the time at home, you could always blanch these ahead and then just add it so then it hardly takes two to three minutes to put the dish together. Today I didn't have the time so I have everything raw. So I'm just going to let it cook on a high heat. Our vegetables have cooked for about two to three minutes. As you can see they have browned well and they have softened. There's still some crunch to them so at this point we're going to add our red bell pepper. And we're going to toss in a few cherry tomatoes. Now if you want, you could leave them whole because these are really tiny. I'm leaving them whole. But you can even cut them into quarters or halves. Just stir it all. Add your salt. A tad bit of pepper. Remember the paneer already has quite a bit of pepper. In goes our Chezwan sauce. Now mix all this together.
Let this cook for just another minute and then you can turn off the flame. Our vegetables are done. I'm going to turn it off at this point. Just look at all the beautiful colors in this dish. It's just so amazing. Add a little bit of the spring onion. Stir it all in. And we're ready to serve. Now what I have done is I've taken a platter and I have made a bed of the white noodles. Uh, just we're not cooking the noodles, we're going to keep it as is because we're going to eat it with the vegetables and the paneer. So what you need to do is take your vegetables and place them on top of the noodles. This is so beautiful. Look at all the reds and greens. And the cherry tomatoes give a wonderful tang to this dish. They're in season right now, so make the most of it. Now you could use any combination of vegetables. Uh, I chose to use these because this is what I had at home. But what are other, other vegetables that you could use are like eggplants, asparagus. Uh, you could also use uh, American sweet corn. That would add a wonderful flavor to this dish. Next, add the paneer. Now, I like to add the paneer separately because some of my friends uh, don't eat paneer. So, I'm keeping this and whoever chooses, they can add if they want to the dish. Sprinkle some sesame seeds. And of course, we've had, we got to add some more of the spring onions. And that's it. As simple as that. It's a beautiful dish that hardly took any time to make.